What's up everybody, welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. This is going to be episode number three of the series. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I think in the last episode, we met Clementine here and her zombie babysitter, I believe her name was Sasha. Um, we also have recordings of her mother on the answering machine, who is apparently in Atlanta. Um, doesn't sound like it's going well for her, but I'm sure we'll find out later. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Yeah, there's, a, uh, there's, I believe, Sasha. Kind of deal with her in the last time. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I did indeed. All right, yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. I think last time... You've been all we, by uh, yourself through this? We went through this little yeah, conversation. I want my parents to come home and now. I think we decided to go out during the daytime I to try and that find help. be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. That's what we picked we last time. We need to find thinking. help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. All right. I guess she's just gonna run off on her own, that's cool. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's just zombies everywhere. I'm gonna slowly limp, I guess. Oh, controls are a little, a little weird right now. That's all right. Hopefully we made the right decision here to go out during the daytime. Oh, there's fe fellers, hey fellers. Oh, oh, oh man, I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks, you know, it's hot dish night. I think I remember these guys when I played it before. Um, like I said, I, I played the whole game, but it's been a while, so I don't really remember a whole lot of it. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't think they're going to come. Um, I'm just going to say I won't leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. I don't want to... Say they're not coming well, back. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. That is a a dandy idea. Hey man! Holy hey shit. man! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Give you quite the chomp on. What are you doing? What is going on? We're looking for help. Um let's we're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. Yeah, I haven't I seen anything tell. as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna say a neighbor, neighbor. just some guy sounds parents are really creepy. Out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Probably. It's 
guy's not a good driver. He hit a parked car and two barriers when he easily could have just went around both of those things. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna nice run on home. My mom is gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You too, guys. See you later. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy's a lifesaver and your place to stay. You your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Oh. Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. <clears throat> yep. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts. It hurts like hell. I mean, it looks like it I hurts. bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? Oh, God, I don't even remember. I'm going to say the car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I don't really want to tell him I was going to jail. I'm just gonna say out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... Shit, hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Oh, uh, yeah, he's definitely Your right. son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I'll tell you. Uh, dead, cr dead people. I got chased by a couple dead of people. dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress take, it, and you'll be fine. Take him out back and put okay. him down like old Yeller. that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It 
smells like. Doo-doo. I'm gonna say it. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Ooh. I miss my Shit. mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? That's right, in Savannah. Far. Oh, okay. And that was a nightmare of him murdering his wife. Hey, get up. Oh, there's my boy, Kenny. I remember Kenny. What? Itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna know a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Oh, God, I remember Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah, sure. We will tag along. Sure, we'll sure. tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I don't remember why, but I just remembered not liking Duck. Um, I guess we're just gonna talk to people. Hey there, girls. Uh, you two actually look relaxed. What do you do? How is the city? I'm gonna say, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Ooh, Georgia. Go Tigers. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. I think I'm bit. done talking okay, about Lee. Where's Kenny at? There he is. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? How's your son doing? What's your plan? Um, I want to see if he needs help. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm all right. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Um, how's your son doing? Let's see what his plan is. So what's is. your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. 
I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. All right, I think we're down to our side. See you. Don't care how Duck's doing. Uh, I guess we can go further this way. Yep. Okay. I think Kenny's got a good plan. Um, I think he's heading down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I don't know if there's another Fort Lauderdale. But I feel like getting on a boat, kind of secluding yourself, would be probably a good idea if you keep up the resources and all that. Let's see what these fellas are doing. Let's talk to Sean first. Hey, Lee. Need a hand. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I guess we're gonna do some handyman work here. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. I mean... It was, I mean, he was, was a zombie. Boy one of the walkers? I mean, I get it. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. Man. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, oh yeah, uh, definitely. Two of them. I bashed her brains bastard. in. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? No idea. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Now thank you. You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, appreciate when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I appreciate you. That's like a, oh, it's Herschel, that's right. I remember there being a Herschel in a, a series of Walking Dead. He was like one of my favorite characters. Until he, uh, spoiler alert, he died. Yeah, I think got his, his head cut off. Something like that. So How are you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. <laughs> are you? I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh, God. All right. There he is. I feel this guy's kind of a jerk. I don't remember, but he seems like he's kind of a jerk. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Bro, you leaving know me. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. What, what does it matter, And honestly, bro? I don't even want to know. No. How'd you get out of What's Atlanta? The big deal, then? Um, I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I think my wife's dead. Uh, parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon. Pretty sure he murdered brother. his wife. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Mm-hmm. I was looking for help? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. My show business. Yeah. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. 
Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Go! I'll get my gun! Just when I thought, not much was going on. <laughs> Crawl away! Oh, that's right. Duck ran his leg over. Stupid. I'm gonna have to pick could have save. I mean, as much as I don't really like Duck, I mean, I would go for the kid. Absolutely. Oh, whoa, what do I do? Hold on, bro, come on. That's why I don't like duck. I remember now. Duck is an idiot. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Whoa! Language. I'm sorry. Sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. Oh, please forgive me. I was trying to save the little kid. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Selfish. Just go. Get out and never come back. So he'd rather the little boy die, but his 30 year old son, or however old he is, be alive. That's good. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, I'm down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this episode. Um, pretty exciting ending there. Uh, not a whole lot happened in the episode. We got to go to the farm. Meet Herschel and his family, watch his son get eaten because we tried to save a little kid. Apparently that's the wrong decision. Um, looks like we're going to head out with Kenny and his family. Um, so kick back, relax. I'm going to pop up the next episode here um, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. If you had a good time, like and subscribe and uh, I will see you next time.